I don't know what the difference between breaking your arm and having a mental breakdown is. It's health. There's no distinction. It's health. Vivek Murthy, who's a, our Surgeon General, and I talk about this issue a lot. You know, in the last two State of the Union addresses, I've laid out what I call the unity agenda. It's made up of four big things that we're going to do together as a nation. One of the things I'm always asked is, you know, uh, why, why Americans uh, have sort of lost faith for a while and be, be able to do big things. If you could do anything at all, Joe, what would you do? I said I'd cure cancer. They looked at me like, why cancer? Because no one thinks we can. That's why. And we can. We end the cancer as we know it. We deliver on our sacred obligations to veterans was the second thing I think is critically important. Thirdly was beat the opioid epidemic, which we're still fighting very hard. And fourth was to tackle mental health crisis, which is why we're here today. You know, we can all agree mental health care is health care. It is health care. It's essential to people's well-being and their ability to lead a full and productive life, to find joy, to find purpose, to take care of themselves and their loved ones. It's about dignity. Think about this. My dad used to have an expression, everyone's entitled to be treated with dignity. Imagine being a parent, looking at your beautiful child, your door, needing help, and know you can't do a damn thing about it. You don't have the wherewithal. You can't talk about stripping a parent of their dignity, their inability to help their child, or their husband, or their wife, or their mother, or their father, or someone they adore. But right now, for millions of Americans, mental health care and treatment for substance abuse is out of reach. It's out of reach. In 2020, less than half, less than half of all adults with mental illness diagnosis received care for it. Less than half. For children, the number's even worse. Nearly 70 percent of our kids who seek care for mental health or addiction cannot get it. 70 percent. Talk to parents and teachers. Talk to the school nurses and counselors. Talk to young people. They'll tell you there's a serious youth mental health crisis happening right now in this country. We must fulfill the promise of true mental health parity for all Americans. Now. Today, my administration is announcing new steps to dramatically expand access to mental health care in America. Our plans would require health insurance plans to identify the gaps in the mental health care that they provide. For example, they need to measure how many mental health providers are in their network, how much they are paying these providers, how difficult it is for someone to join their network. How often doctors have to get the so-called prior authorization before they can treat a patient? Some of you have dealt with this more than once. You get referrals to see mental health specialists, but when you make the appointment, they say, I can't see you until your doctor submits the paperwork and gets special permission from the insurance company. Give me a break. <laughs> it's ridiculous.